Hey, Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Ellie Studio and it's release day of this April exclusive kit as well as the add-ons and I am in particular using that digital cup file and those florals there, those little flowers to create this layout. It's kind of a stay at home dealing with the stress and anxiety of that by doing jigsaw puzzles. So I've pulled my usual matching color palette things. I'm going to work with that uh, pattern paper uh, that's from the kit or it's actually the add-ons a couple of week, a uh, couple of months ago and then that four by six card that's from the kit and you can see that I'm working with kind of red, coral, green and lavender as the colors for these two three by four pictures. I'm going to use that really strong bold strip at the bottom there those uh that two cards at the bottom one the green one is um, from the principles and then the right one is from the kit and i'm going to add some of the purple to that because um, the color of my shirt while it's kind of more maroon has printed more with more of a purple lavender hue to it and so i'm going to use that to match with the purples that i will scatter as flowers throughout the elements of the kit here so it has a very springy feel to it obviously uh this April kit as it is spring and um, those are the colors that I'm going to use. So I moved that card to the outside and I was showing you the visual triangle there that is created by the green bits and pieces. So I will also have three floral clusters that will move your eye with those three green bits um, around the page in that visual triangle. I am going to just cut the back of that four by six card there. Um, I don't have an intended plan for it, but I thought maybe I might be able to use that green border uh, and a lot of it is tucked in behind the photos there and that way I can get maximal use out of my kit. So uh, a little bit about these pictures. Um, Michael bought us a every year in my family it was a tradition my my new my family before my current family my mom and dad my sister my brother and i my mom would always buy us a jigsaw puzzle at christmas and um, michael knew that my husband and so he bought us a jigsaw puzzle and it sat there and sat there and sat there and then um perfect timing there was a reason that it sat there um when we were confined to our stay at home, uh, we decided to break out the jigsaw puzzle. And it was a perfect way to just deal with some of the stress and the anxiety of um, what was going on because we can't tro control what's going on, but we can certainly control the outcome of this jigsaw puzzle. So I have pre-cut ahead of time a bunch of these flowers uh, in different sizes using the digital cut file. And in order to make the flowers pop a little bit, add some little visual interest to them, I am going to use some of my pens to just outline, uh, not with much precision, but just for the look, a few of these flowers I'm going to outline uh, and that just makes them pop a little bit. And there, just as there's that trio of green, I'm also going to have this trio of flowers. Uh, and I will off camera, I did this um, because I, uh, the center of those flowers looks a little boring and I wanted to add a little bit more color to it. And so off camera, I'm going to use a mix of Ellie Studio um, puffy stickers and sequins to just give centers to all of the flowers but one I believe um, and I'm not sure why I didn't do the one it looking at it now um, but that was the way it is and it, it looks fine <laughs> without the one so each of those flowers there's going to be a trio of them amongst the trio so a trio of trios um, and again, I like the way that that just kind of pulls your eye through the photos, through the title, um, where the journaling will also be down to that bottom cluster there as well. I've also cut the greens um, and I'm going to use those leaves to just kind of punctuate the flowers. They're fine the way that they are, but I like it with the greenery um, just for that added splash of green and it's a different color green, which um, adds to the layout there. 
I'm going to move this one because uh, you can kind of see how each of the, the leaves points outwards um, from that cluster. And so there, it, it contributes again to the movement of that. So these are the die cuts that are add-ons this month. These are the Beautiful Day die cuts. Uh, there are lots of great words in there and some labels as well as some flowers that you'll see me use later on on another layout. Um, so I'm just going to use that word this. These are the April labels and that purple one says loving. So I'm going to use them in combination for loving this. Uh, I like it up there, but there's so many different angles that I decide to move it to right there. Um, and so you've got really now just three angles. You've got the incline downhill on the right, the incline left <laughs> on the right there where I'm working, and then that matching incline kind of, it's actually downhill right, uh, right here at the bottom there. So these are the uh, office label stickers. And I really thought that I wanted to use one of these so that I had a match from the top to the bottom to just kind of tie things together. But I felt like I was using it not because it served a purpose other than to tie things together, um, more just I was using it because I had it. So I ended up pulling it off the layout. Um, and I like it, uh, but again, it, it, it really didn't serve a purpose. I do like that it tied things together, but I also have that visual triangle that ties it all together, and so it wasn't necessary. So what I just stuck down there, love these. This is uh, These are chipboard stickers, and I love that they don't have a shiny veneer to them. They're flat, they're kind of matte, um, and so that worked perfectly with the other hearts. The other sticker that I put down came from the, this, uh, the right, Life right now stickers. So we always have some great word sayings, phrases with our Ellie's release stickers. Um, and that one says real life right now. These are the puffy stickers, the lovely puffy stickers. I'm just putting a few more flowers, just those little puffy flowers. And then I'm going to pull off um, together. You'll see me just stick it right there, knowing that I wanted my title to be piecing in it together. Uh, and I like with my titles mixing fonts. And so I'm going to use these, use these awesome typewriter alphabet stamps to do piecing it. And then I'm going to use that puffy sticker for together. I, um, I'm going to use this stamp set later on this month to create a really cool layout, so be sure to come back and check that out. I'm going to stamp a whole phrase using this typewriter stamp set. I absolutely love this, and if there's anything that you have got to grab this month, it is definitely that. So I have bought the Pink Fricker Studio inks, um, and these are my samples here so that I can, my swatches, see what colors I want to use. I've decided to go with that color that I um, did not write down, but I will put it in the description box for you and I'm going to go with that for piecing it. Now, now, one of the things I have learned about this typewriter stamp set is it stamps much crisper if you stamp the individual letters or just two letters at a time. See how I've done that whole word there? When you look at the details, it kind of looks, it doesn't look solid. Um, and so I, I I have found that stamping two or three letters at the same time works best rather than doing whole words. Just as a word of caution to you when you do use this stamp set. Maybe it's just the paper and inks that I'm using, I'm not sure, but um, you'll see that I comes out much, cr much crisper as well as the it at the end of piecing it um, or a much crisper stamp when you stamp that. So that, my friends, is going to go ahead and wrap up the layout. I am going to journal underneath piecing it, and those of you who follow my videos know that I cannot do that on camera, so I'm going to do that off camera. Um, I'm going to link you to the affiliate links of all of the things below for the layouts that I create for the goodies that I use to create this layout. I hope you enjoy the April release as much as we do. If there's anything in particular you want to see me use, leave it in the description doc box down below. I hope you're surviving this stay at home well. Thanks for stopping in today. Enjoy the close-ups. Take care.